this home right here is probably one of the best priced detached front garage homes in all of the Calgary city limits. We're gonna be showing you guys this one and three other insanely priced homes today. We're in the community of Hotchkiss in the Southeast. This is a brand new community. They only started building here about a year ago. So there's not quite that much here, but if you compare it to the neighboring community of Mahogany, which we did a video of a couple weeks ago, the prices here are actually insane compared to Mahogany. So you get way more bang for your buck with this community. You guys are gonna wanna see all of the homes today that we're gonna be showing. We're gonna be looking at some front garage homes. We're gonna be looking at some laned homes where the garage is in the back of the house and we're also going to be looking at some duplexes that are these prices are pretty rock bottom and they're just flying off the shelves so if you guys want one of these duplexes please get a hold of me and i'll make sure that when they have more lots come available for the duplexes that you can get those right away so enough of me going on about this let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video and show you guys some homes this is actually the garage that they have converted into the sales office right now I was just speaking to the sales rep and he was telling me that this house is massive. There's four bedrooms upstairs and one bedroom in the basement. So if you have a huge family and you need a lot of space and the price point is very attractive too for this front garage one. So let's check this one out. This would kind of be the mud room that you would come in off of the garage. Nice built-ins right here. I love the built-ins. It's got kind of like a, I don't know, like, if I was a little kid, I'd feel like I'd be, I was playing in the NHL or the NBA or the MLB or something every time I suited up to, to go outside with my friends or to go to school. Coming right in, you're hit with this massive island right away. This thing is huge and you have the sink in the island too. I really like that. This has got like a very light and bright and just clean and rich. I'm getting like that kind of beachy wedding vibe here in this house this is the office area right here the sales rep was just telling me that if you wanted to you could leave this open or you could put a, a barn door right here or double french doors i think i would probably go with the double french doors because then you can see into the office with the barn door I, as much as i love barn doors it would kind of shut off this space and then the dining room area Again, this is a massive house. You would never have to move if you lived here. Like you can grow with this house till the end of time. This living room area, I like how it's kind of sectioned off from the rest of the house. So let's actually go down to the basement. There's a one bedroom down here. It's not suited. If you wanted to have it suited, you could. There's a separate entrance right here. But again, if you have a big family, oh man, like, Steph and I would move in here in a heartbeat. We need to have more kids before we, before we move into this house. It's huge. Nice big open area, rec room. There's a wet bar over here with the wine fridge. This would be absolutely great for entertaining, for Super Bowl, Stanley Cup playoffs. Watch the Toronto Maple Leafs or the Calgary Flames. I'm still a Toronto Maple Leafs fan. I, I bleed blue. Big bathroom right here. There's also another area, interesting. So they have another couch here and they have a desk here. So this could be like a, if you have the kiddos, this could be like a little art studio area or a, a homework area. Like I feel like you can just, this is a nice creative space where you can come to like paint or draw or, or write. Here's the one bedroom here. This is a decent sized bedroom. They got the bunk beds in this one. I like this basement. This is a this is a fun basement. I would spend a lot of time down here. Usually when we go up to the top floor, there's really only three bedrooms on most of the models. This has four bedrooms up here. So if you have a big family and you need that fourth extra bedroom, this might be the one for you. Oh wow, wow. Look at this. That's a long hallway. So you have two bedrooms here at the back of the house. Good sized bedrooms. They have Two, two beds in this bedroom, really good size. I'm surprised. Second bedroom, another decent size. This third bedroom here, they have set up as a nursery. I like how this is, okay, Stephanie and I at home, we have, in our nursery, we have a recliner because like, you know, when you have a new baby, 
you're rocking them and sometimes you know they're falling asleep on you and you got to feed them but they actually have a couch in this nursery i like that look i don't know might have to tell stephanie we need a couch for our nursery here's the laundry room counter space washer dryer and then oh oh my goodness okay we'll save that for a second and this is oh this is like a primary suite over here you have your own wing because this is a front garage where the garage is attached to the house in the front you on the second floor you get a lot more square footage because it makes it way longer up here wow they have this sweat up like a, a suite they have two chairs and a little love seat right here huge king size bed and then this is what i wanted to show you that i was all shocked about look at the size of this walk-in closet this thing is massive this is a full-on bedroom in here i could expand my wardrobe if i lived here and then it actually comes into the laundry room too so there's this little pocket door right here and if you got dirty clothes you can literally like just chuck it into the washing machine from your walk huge walk-in closet now that is convenient and now the primary ensuite nice dual vanities big tub you have the private loo right here i love the private loo you gotta have privacy when you're doing when you're doing your business you know what i mean and sometimes that extra that door goes a long way i love this house and for for what the price point is like there's there's a lot of value here that's for sure so hotchkiss let's show you guys where hotchkiss is on good old google maps so hotchkiss is in southeast calgary it's literally kitty corner to mahogany we did a video on mahogany a few weeks ago they've been building there for 10 15 years now so it's very built up i mean it's got its own private lake it's got all the retail commercial schools built up already so it's a mature community at this point whereas hotchkiss on the other hand is brand new but the nice part about hotchkiss being brand new and not having anything right there is that you're gonna get a way better price point for a brand new home to build in hotchkiss as opposed to mahogany so the incentive is definitely there right now to get in early and then that way as the they grow the community and all the commercial space comes in so the retail restaurants gas stations things like that and the schools the community will be will grow in value over time so with hotchkiss you are right off of stony trail it's super convenient from a commuting perspective you can get up to the calgary airport along stony trail here within like 15 minutes there's a hospital down here in seaton south house health campus it's a brand new hospital within the last 10 years so that's like 10 minutes away there's lots of schools nearby like i said they don't have any of the retail built up yet so you will have to drive into mahogany but in this section right here there's a whole bunch of different stuff restaurants tim hortons grocery stores things like that so everything that you need right now for the meantime while they're building everything is within striking dis distance of a you know five ten minute drive i do really like this location as well like hotchkiss actually when we were on the ground you like facing west here towards the rocky mountains you get an absolutely beautiful vantage point of the rocky mountains there so i do like this location a lot as for what's coming as far as amenities they're gonna have 30 acres of natural wetland with a view of the rocky mountains as i mentioned they are gonna have schools in the community eventually and they're also gonna have four acres of commercial retail space so gas stations restaurants stores convenience so everything eventually will be built up in this area it is one of the first communities that is going to be built east of stony trail here but in the future i see this being this whole pocket here being just a vibrant community going forward this next home here actually might be one of my favorite styles i just absolutely love all the finishes and fixtures in here and just the the style in general this one's called the perry by hopewell it's a laned home let's go check it out as soon as you come in here you have a nice big area to take your shoes off 
coming into the living room here. It's got a very dark and rich kind of farmhouse vibe to it. This living room has a really nice fireplace right here. It's not super big, but I just love the detail that, that brings to the living room right away. It just may, really is a focal staple point. Like, hey, this is my living room. I'm fancy, look at this place. You have a nice big dining room area. They have a huge table set up here. So if you like entertaining or you have a bigger family, there's ample space. This island is massive. As you can see right here, they have four chairs set up right along it. You could play beer pong on this if you want. Don't like, well, I'm not recommending that you play beer, beer pong on this island, but you could if you wanted to. There's a gas range stove here lots of counter space this sink is massive there's just tons of natural i believe this is facing south too so there's like tons of natural light coming into this house at the back of the home here you get a nice big mud area again with some closet space right here so down here in the basement you can see you have a side entrance already which is nice because if you want to build a future suite in the basement you could do that quite easily. So this basement here of this laned home is not finished at all. So if you wanted to purchase this one without the basement finished, and then you can come down here and customize it the way you want it. Or you can put a one bedroom suite down here. I believe you can even put, yeah, you could even put a two bedroom suite in this basement. They actually have it already chalked up on the floor here with lettering and it's almost like a floor plan. I've never actually seen this before. It's kind of cool. So coming up to the second floor now, as you hop up a couple stairs, you got a two piece bathroom right here. Oh wow, this stairwell is friggin' wide. The carpet's really squishy too. I think this might actually be my all time favorite carpet. I could sleep on this carpet, no problem. These lights here, these three lights are really unique. It's got like an industrial, really bold look to it. I'm digging it. Up here, you got the first bedroom, good sized bedrooms. Second bedroom is over here. Both of these bedrooms are in the back of the house. This one actually has a walk-in closet as well, which adds to it. Good sized bathroom. And then over here on the primary wing, you have the washer and dryer stackable up on the second floor. Steph and I love that. Primary bedroom now, oh wow. Got the drop down coffered ceilings, nice big walk-in closet, primary bathroom. Ooh, I'm loving the soaker tub. Dual vanities, lots of separation here, nice and big. This bathroom's really long. Toilet, and then we have the shower right here. Let me do the test. Okay, yep, it's a good size. Approved. This front garage home is called the Carissa. It's got a little bit of a smaller footprint to it, but again, this one is actually, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, it's under $700,000, so, which is pretty much unheard of for a front garage home in Calgary. So let's check this one out. Just let me pop my shoes off. It's not a huge entrance way, but you still got enough space to take your shoes off and whatnot. There's a two piece bathroom right here at the entrance. You have a tiny, oh wow, okay. This is, it's a tiny little office, but it's still an office and it has, for all your privacy needs, a little barn door here. I wouldn't call it a phone booth. It's a little bit bigger than a phone booth. It's a, it's a little office. I like it, it's cute. So here in the kitchen, right off the hop, you have a great big island, lots of counter space. This over here is actually the entrance to coming in off the garage. So you got a little mud room here. This dining room area, they have like some bench seating against that, that wall, it's, that's interesting. It's a good size. This living room, I like this living room. Really digging this fireplace. And then I'm loving all the black fixtures and light finishes as well. Double door pantry, proper. They call it the proper pantry. Very nice. Basement's not finished. Let's see what we're working with here. Okay, 
So they have it all lined up here. So this is like a suite layout, I believe. Yeah, so you, you could throw a one bedroom suite down here, which is great if you wanna help out with your mortgage. The price point is already good compared to a lot of front garage homes in Calgary. And in addition to it, if you wanna add the suite for the mortgage helper, or you can get grandma or grandpa, or your sister or whoever to live down here just to help out with that mortgage, build that equity. I'm excited to see what the second floor looks like. Okay, finally, we have a bonus room. I love me the bonus rooms. This bonus room is nice. We got a great big sectional couch here, TV. I believe it's three bedrooms up here. So bedroom number one, they got the triple whammy. Three bunk beds here. So there's no excuse to have lots of kids here in Calgary. Second bedroom, decent size. I'm really liking this bathroom here with this Moroccan pattern tile. And then we'll head into the primary ensuite now, why don't we, at the front of the house. Okay, it's a good size. They have a massive painting in here. That's a really big painting, takes up that whole wall. And then, I don't see a walk-in closet yet. Okay, I'm going through, okay, so you gotta come into the ensuite for the walk-in closet. The walk-in closet is here on the left. I kinda like how this walk-in closet is attached to the uh, primary ensuite. You got the Moroccan tile on the ground again, I love that. Dual vanities. Ooh, now this is a nice stand-up shower. It's kinda very like, ooh, I like this. This is, this is, that's nice. This model is called the Kari by Hopewell. It's a duplex. It's their smallest duplex here in Hotchkiss, but the price point is really attractive. And that's what makes this one, one of the more popular homes here in Hotchkiss. Let's have a look. So coming in off your main entrance here, you're kind of right in your living room right away. Like I said, it's not a huge footprint, so, you're not gonna get as much space in here as typical, but again, the price point is really good. So let's check this bad boy out. Coming in, you have a little nook right off to the side here where you can have a little work from home office, maybe a bar here if you're into that. But needless to say, it's a good little working space area. The kitchen itself, it's a decent sized kitchen right here at the back of the house. The island is a really good size. Again, like this isn't gonna be super fancy because it's their entry point model. I really like this, how you can be washing your dishes and then looking out to your backyard. So if you have kids or a dog or something like that, or a husband that like to work, likes to work outside in the backyard, you can spy on them while you're doing the dishes. Coming over here, you have the back entrance with a good size mud room area. So when you're taking your boots off, you don't have to get the rest of the house all dirty. There's a two piece bathroom right here. Nice, clean, fresh look in this house. What I really like about these houses is that it has the side entrance. So I don't believe that the basement is finished in this one, but if you were to purchase this house, Oh, actually the basement is finished. Looks like it's a little one bedroom suite down here, which is, you know, it's a decent size. The kitchen is pretty good. The bedroom, really good size bedroom, good closet space. Again, this is not the biggest house, but I mean, it's functional. There's three bedrooms up here. There's no bonus room. You can see this is pretty tiny hallway area here but how much time are you going to spend in your in your hallway on your second floor so you have your bedrooms so if you have little kids a little growing family these bedrooms would be great here's bedroom number one here is bedroom number two decent sized bedrooms what's behind this closet you got the stackable washer and dryer up here very functional house it's not huge but it's functional and the primary bedroom Okay, it's a decent sized primary bedroom. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. And there's a walk-in closet too. Gotta love the walk-in closet. If you're coming from say Ontario in a tiny little 500, 600 square foot apartment, you're gonna appreciate this size that you're gonna get here in Calgary. And then you have the ensuite. Nothing super special, but you got what you need. Shower, tub, toilet, 
and one sink. We don't have the dual vanity in this model, but again, for the price point, it's getting you into the market. Well, there you have it, folks. That was the brand spanking new community of Hotchkiss in Southeast Calgary. If you guys are considering maybe Hotchkiss and building a new home there, Steph and I have developed awesome relationships with the builders in that neighborhood, and we'd like to pass those perks on to you. So we're gonna leave our information right here. Give us a call anytime. If we don't answer, shoot us a text. If you wanna send us an email, you can send us an email as well. And we would absolutely love to help you make the move to Calgary. And if you're considering maybe a townhouse, check out this video right here of a badass townhouse in Northwest Calgary.